The next question is design a mod file counter using JK flip flop. It is the question from August September 2020. Okay, so before designing uh, the mod file counter, let us see what are the different steps you have to uh, follow. So the step one is you have to find the number of flip flops. So you know that for modulus M counter, the number of flip flops required is small n such that capital M is less than or equal to 2 power n. So what will be your capital M mod m. So this is mod 5 right. So m is capital M is equal to 5. 5 should be less than or equal to 2 power n. So uh, 5 should be less than or equal to 2 power n. What will be the value for n. n will be equal to 3. If n is equal to 2. 2 power 2 it is 4 right. So 5 is not less than 4. So the next option is n is equal to 3. So you have now found out the number of flip flops. So the number of flip flops will be 3. Now step 2. Once you have found out the number of flip flops then you have to draw the state table which gives the uh, representation of your present state and the next state. Step 3. With the help of the excitation table. What is your excitation table with the help of the present state next step you are going to find the input to the flip flop for the given transition. So in this case the input will be JA, KA, JB, KB and JC, KC because there are three flip flops. Right. Step 4. Once you have uh, known the one you once you have decided the input to the flip flop now you have to uh, draw a K map for each input of the flip flops in terms of the output and the and you have to do simplification. Once you have simplified your uh, K map now the last step is you have to connect the inputs to the flip flop in the diagram. Okay. So these are the steps followed uh, for designing a mod 5 counter. So what about your first step. First step already you have done you know that n is equal to 3. Let us do now the second step. So I am going to draw the second step and the third step together that is the state table and the excitation table together. So what will be your first column? The first column will be uh, your present state. The next will be your next state. And in the case of excitation table you are going to find the inputs to the flip flop. Okay. So this will be your complete second and third step. So what will be your present state? I can take the present state as QC, QB, QA. What will be your next st uh, state? QC plus, QB plus and QA plus. Or you can, yeah, the next, or you can write it as N plus 1. So your, what will be your inputs to the flip flop? You will be having JC, KC, JB, KB and JA. Ka. So these are the different parameters that you have in your table. Okay. So now your JC, KC, JB, KB, JA, KA. Now this part is go first part will be your so this part is going to be your state table and this is going to be your excitation table. Okay. Excitation table. Now this is done. Now you have to. Your n is equal to 3. So you have 3 bit right. So you have 0 0 0 0 0 1 0 1 0. So 3 bit means 0 0 0 to 7. 1 1 1. So 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1. 1 1 0 1 1 1 so these are your bits present in your table okay 0 to 7 okay So for uh, 0, 0, 0, what, will, what is going to be your next state? So when you do a mod 5 counter, it goes from 0, 0, 0, it goes to the 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? From 4, it goes back again to your 5th state. So this is going to be your diagram. So from 0, 0, 0, it is going to the next state that is called as 0, 0, 1. 
what will be your now a present state from 0 0 1 so from 1 to again 2 0 1 0 from 2 to 3 so from 2 to 0 1 1 from 3 to 4 right 1 0 0 from 4 it is going again to 0 okay so from 4 to again it is going back to 0 the all other uh, states are not used so you have to replace it by don't care condition okay so now this uh, you have got your state state table now from this can you find out what is your excitation table so you have to know the excitation table uh, if you want to find out the input to the flip-flop you should know the excitation table of your jk flip-flop so what will be your excitation uh, table of your uh, jk flip-flop excitation table so in simple so if you know your present state and the next state, you can know your value for your J and K. So what will be the combination? Either it will be 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0 or 1, 1. Right. So what will be your, the, these two will be no change state. 0, 0 and 1, 1 will be a no change state. And here from 0 it is changing to 1 and from here it is from 1 it is changing to 0. So as per your JK flip-flop, you know that Q is always equal to 1 when J is equal to 1. So in this case your J will be equal to 1. Similarly here Q is equal to 0. It is changing the state from 1 to 0. So when your Q will be equal to 0, your it is reset right. So K will be equal to 1. So the other two will be your don't care condition. So here it is 0, 0. There is no change. Here it is 1, 1. Also there is no change. So when, it, when there is no change 0, 0, your J, Q is equal to 0, J will be equal to 0. And when uh, both is equal to 1, Q is equal to 1, K will be equal to 0. So there is a separate explanation of excitation table which you can uh, check out. Okay. So for doing this mod 5 counter readily you have to study this excitation table. There should be no mistake in this excitation table. Okay. Now you come back to this. You have to just see the combination the present state and the next state so for let us do it for qc so here it is 0 0 there is no change so what will be your j and k it will be 0 x okay similarly for 0 0 second case also it is 0 0 so there is no change it is 0 x 0 0 it is 0 x here it is 0 1 0 1 what is the value it is 1 x okay so here you will be getting 1 x so here 1 0 what is the value it is x1 so for 1 x you have don't care if there is don't care you replace it by don't care all other case is your don't care condition okay similarly you follow it for your uh, jk and kb now take b xb 0 0 again it is 0 x okay now it is 0 1 0 1 it is 1 x 1 1 it is x 0 then 1 0 it is x 1 okay it is 0 0 it is 0 x then it is 0 all other will be your don't care condition okay now last one for j k you have to take q a and q a plus 1 q a is 0 1 it is 1 x next 1 0 it is x 1 okay now what is the next one 0 1 it is again 1 x 1 0 x 1 0 0 0 x 1 x all other will be your don't care condition so these are your different values of your state table and your excitation table now you are going to construct your k map for these different inputs okay so first let us construct the k map for your jc and kc okay so for jc what is your k map construction of your k map so if i take the values as qc qb qa so here it will be 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 right okay now we can fill the values so for 0 0 0 0 0 0 
what is the value for jc zero okay now for zero zero one what is the value zero similarly fill for all the other cases zero one zero zero one zero it is zero zero one one it is one okay all other will be your don't care okay so now this is the uh, data which you have got now you can group 1 and x together so what will be your jc jc will be equal to this to get cancelled so here it will be qa that is qb and qa 1 1 right so you have got your jc value similarly what will be the value for your kc kc also proceed the same 0 1 so what will be this qc qb Q A zero 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 one 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 zero. So now what is the value for you are getting zero zero zero? What is the value x? Then zero zero one you are getting again x zero one zero you are getting again x zero one one you are getting again x one zero zero you are getting one one then. 1 0 0 1 all other is your don't care okay so you can group all these together so kc will be equal to 1 okay now let us proceed for the next one jb so what will be your jb 0 1 that is qc qb qa 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 what is the value for your JB? 0, 0, 0, it is 0. 0, 0, 1, it is 1. 0, 1, 0, it is X. 0, 1, 1, it is X. Okay. You have 1, 0, 0, it is 0. All other it is X. Okay. So how can you group these? You can group these four together, right? So JB will be equal to will get cancelled 0 1 will get cancelled so you will be getting QA right so QA will be your answer now the last uh, that is next one is your KB QC QB QA 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 now what is the value for your KB 0 0 0 0 0 0 kb is equal to x then 0 0 1 kb is equal to again x 0 1 0 kb is equal to 0 0 1 1 kb is equal to 1 1 0 0 all other is don't care okay so again how can you group this you can group these four together so what will be your value for kb kb will be equal to 0 0 1 get cancelled it will be equal to again equal to qa 1 1 so it is qa okay the last is your j a qc qb qa 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 so for in the case of ja what is your uh, value 0 0 0 ja is equal to 1 0 0 1 your ja is equal to x 0 1 0 j is equal to 1 0 1 1 your j is equal to x 1 0 0 your j is equal to 0 all other is don't care okay so this is how you have got your j so how you can group these can you group these one complete row together right so what will be your j a j a will be equal to q c bar right this all will get cancelled so q c bar last one is your k a k a again here you have q c q b q a 0 0 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 so what is the value again 0 0 0 for ka it is x 
zero zero one it is one zero one zero it is x zero one one it is one all other is don't care okay so you can group these two all together so k a will be equal to one so now you have got j c k c j b k b j a k a input to the flip flops you can you have got now can you draw your uh, flip flop the final design of your mod 5 counter just apply this inputs okay so what will be your diagram so you have 3 j k flip flop 1 2 3 so j a k a what will be your output q a q a bar j b k b j b bar uh, sorry q b bar sorry q b q b bar j c k c q c q c bar okay so these are your inputs now what is your you have your clock let me give the clock as your negative triggered clock so you have the clock signal c l k okay it is clock now what are the um, uh, now give the connections okay so for j a what is your input what is the value you have got for j a j a is equal to q b q a so you can use one and gate right so let me take your outputs q a will be your q b and q c will be your output so this is going to be your m s b and this is going to be your l s b so this gives your output so what is your j a in this case j a is equal to so it is not q b q b uh, here it is j a is equal to q c bar right so j a is equal to q c bar i can give this directly okay j a is equal to q c bar now what will be your k a k a is equal to 1 so you give this to 1 or high what is your j b j b is equal to q a j b and k b is equal to q a so direct direct connection j b is equal to q b is also equal to q a okay so you will be having the same connection going here q a right now what is j c and k c j c is equal to q b into q a so you can use an and gate here j c is equal to q b and q a i have taken a connection from here so it is and gate together you will be getting it to your j c so this will be equal to q b into q a and what is your q c q c is equal to again one so this is one or high signal so this will be your structure of your mod 5 counter using jk flip flop